The thrill of making the new discovery is one factor that draws numerous researchers to their field. So what has been discovered recently, you might be wondering. You are unable to comprehend the elation among scientists when the Large Hadron Collider recently discovered something completely novel. What recent discovery has the Collider made, and the most important, that why was it kept a secret for so long? Everything will be explained in this video, so don't skip the video and watch till the end. Let's get started. Researchers at the Large Hadron Collider, which is close to Geneva, have discovered an odd signal in their data that could be the first indication of a brand new branch of physics. One of the four main LHC teams, the LHC teamwork, examined 10 years' worth of data on how particles that were unstable dubbed B mesons, produced briefly in the enormous machine, degraded into more familiar stuff like electrons. The particle ought to break down into goods that include the electrons at precisely the same rate as it does into goods that involve the more powerful cousin of the electrons, a particle called a muon, according to the conventional model of particle physics, a mathematical structure that guides scientists' comprehension of the microscopic world. However, the scientific results announced seem to suggest that something strange is taking place. But what is exactly that thing? Just as the greatest particle smasher in the world is starting another phase of high-energy tests, physicists claim they have discovered evidence for three never-before-seen pairings of quarks in data from Europe's Large Hadron Collider. The three unusual component types, which comprise two tetraquarks, which are four quark arrangements, and a pentaquark, which is a five-quark unit, are completely in line with the standard approach, the long-established theory that explains the composition of atoms. On the other hand, researchers are hoping that the LHC's present run may provide proof of physics that deviates from the standard model in order to explain the origins of mysterious objects like black holes. Such proof may indicate the existence of more realities in our universe, or perhaps new collections of subatomic particles are present. In order to improve its systems to manage unprecedented energy levels, the LHC was shut down for three years. Researchers and technicians at the CER and research facility on the French Swiss boundary have been preparing ever since that shutdown ended in April for today's start of scientific activities. As the LHC started its third round of gathering and analyzing information, the control room at CERN was a hive of activity. CER and Director General Fabiola Gianotti stated on broadcast that it's a magic event now. A new era of research at CERN is now possible thanks to collisions that recently occurred at an energy of 13.6 tera electron volts, a record. According to Gianotti, the third run of the LHC is expected to yield the same amount of data that the Colletter's first two runs yielded over a period of 13 years. Naturally, this will boost our chances of making discoveries or learning about the fundamental rules of the universe as a whole, she said. During run 3, the 27-kilometer round ring of superconductive magnets and its detectors for particles are expected to run continuously for about four years. The run began today, 10 years and a day after LHC scientists revealed their most significant finding to date. Proof of the presence of the Higgs boson, a particle in the subatomic realm that aids in the explanation of the phenomenon known as the conservation of mass. The three new subatomic atomic particle kinds that were revealed today at a CER and seminar aren't quite as groundbreaking as the discovery of the Higgs boson. However, they do imply that the LHC is on the hunt for additional previously undiscovered cosmic building blocks. In order to investigate the combinations of quarks known as hadrons, the Large Hadron Collider accelerates protons to speeds almost as fast as light. According to a press statement from Niels Tuning, the physics supervisor for the Collider's LHC detector, the more investigations we carry out, the more types of exotic hadrons being developed we find. Particle zoo of hadrons began to be discovered in the 1950s, which eventually led to the quarks model of ordinary hadrons in the 1960s, we are currently in a similar phase of discovery. Particle Zoo 2.0 is what we're making. Researching novel quark pairings, 
will aid the theorists in building an integrated representation of exotic hadrons, which are the precise composition of which is essentially unknown, according to LHC director Chris Parks. Hadrons often aren't very exotic. For example, the three quarks that make up neutrons and protons are bonded. Two quark pairings make up pions. It is believed that four quark and five quark combos only briefly exist before decomposing into various sorts of particles. These combinations are far more uncommon. There are six distinct flavors of quarks, including upward and downward, top and bottom, charisma, and weird. The LHC team examined the decaying particles of negative charged B mesons and discovered proof for the presence of a pentaquark made comprised of an up, down, and weird quark together with a charm particle and a charm antiquark. It is the first pentaquark that has been found to include a peculiar quark. A doubly electrically charged mixture of four quarks, a charm quark, an unusual antiquark, an up quark, and an upside-down antiquark, makes up the two recently discovered tetraquarks. The neutral equivalent of that tetraquark, which consists of a charm quark, an odd antiquark, an up antiquark, and a down quark, was also observed with it. According to C. Yarnan, this is the very first instance of two tetraquarks being seen alongside. Exotic hadrons are represented in certain theoretical models as solitary, strongly bonded quark particles. Others believe they are loosely coupled pairs that make up conventional hadrons, much to the way atoms are coupled to form macromolecules. If the particles in question are one, the other, or both, only time and additional research on unusual hadrons will be able to determine this, in my opinion. However, what do you think of this? Please share your thoughts in the comments box, and if you like the video, make sure to subscribe for additional interesting material. Till that goodbye.